Well, I'm doing steps right now on how to tape, top, skin, sand, all this other stuff. But I want to show you a quick step on how I run a corner bead that's got a return to it. You know, it's a lot of people, they, they get mud on both sides, they, they can't keep it off. So I'm going to show you how I do it, whether it's right or wrong, it's your, your choice to believe. But uh, this is how I learned to do corner bead so I can coat it twice, be done. Uh, level 5 finish. I just have two coats on this corn beat and, and it's level 5. I, I guarantee it. Just like screws. I had a big controversy when I was telling people how I two coat screws. Oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do Well, maybe they can't do it, but I've been doing it for years and I've never had a complaint that my screws are showing. I mean, ever. And, and I do work for builders over and over and over and over again and I never get a call back. And if you can coat this in two coats, you can coat screws in two coats because this is way thicker than screws are. You've got a lot more fill here than you do on a little tiny screw hole. So watch. First thing I bought up is the return. These are only eight foot ceilings so I can reach them. switch here so I have to be careful. Then I mud up one side. And when I mud up the side, I flare that edge right away. So I just flare that edge and I'll come over here. The other side. And I flare that edge. Now I got it all mudded. Now, since I coated this first, I want to wipe this out first. And I just lay my knife down. You want to leave as much mud as possible, you know, without taking it out of the center. Then I mud this side up second. So now I will wipe this side down. Again, just lay that knife down. You don't want to uh, you don't want to scrape out any mud that you put in. You just want to make it smooth. And then I take my edge of my knife and I take the garbage off. And the last thing I do is this side. I can be really sloppy over here because you can't see me. And there we have it. That's how I do that. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I do have a, a few boogers right here, but they'll dust right off. Not a big deal. So those are the steps I use to run a corn bee that's got a return section to it. Hey, if you really like the videos, subscribe. And if you really, really like the videos, please just Share them with somebody else. All right, you guys have a great day.